If you're trying to import audio files like WAVE or MP3 into your GarageBand iOS projects, but they're grayed out like these ones here, in this video, I'm gonna explain why that is and what you need to do. Let's go. So we're here in GarageBand on the iPhone and it works the same way on the iPad. And here's the thing, if you're in GarageBand, any audio file will be grayed out. It won't actually be able to be imported. If you tap on it, if you try to select it, nothing is going to happen there. And that is because here in GarageBand, we can only open GarageBand Project. So what do you do if you want to import an audio file into your GarageBand Project? Well, that's what we're gonna show you in this video. However, what if you just want to play back or copy or move these files around? Well, that's where you need to actually switch over to the Files app instead of GarageBand. Now, you can see why this is confusing and why this trips some people up is that it looks exactly the same. But here's the difference. We can actually tap and play. So if I tap on this WAV file here, it's going to open it up if I hit play. I've only got eight little bars. It's gonna play away and then I can hit done. I can actually do whatever I want. I can tap select, select this one. I can share it. I can duplicate it, copy it, and I can even compress it here and zip it up and send it to someone else. So if you actually wanna do something with a file, go to the files app. The thing that people struggle with from time to time is if you're in GarageBand, it looks like it's exactly the same, but it's a completely different app. So what if we do now want to bring this loop into a GarageBand project? Let's show you that now. So what we need to do is actually create a new GarageBand project. So we're gonna tap Create Song. We'll just tap the audio recorder. We won't be using this, but we need to go to our Track View. So we're gonna tap in the top left here to go to Track View. Now before we import, which we're gonna use our Loops browser to import our file, we need to tap on this plus button over here on the right and make sure we've got enough space. So what I recommend is tap on this one and then make sure Automatic is selected. This will make sure that your song length is long enough to put your file in there. Now, if you know the tempo or the time signature of your file, you can come in here and you can adjust the tempo, time signature and key signature, and that will just give you a head start when you import your file. But we don't know that for this and we won't go into that detail. Let's now tap on the Loops browser and bring in this file. So across the top, we've got Apple Loops Files and Music. We want files in this case, we're gonna tap Files. And then we need to tap down the bottom here, Browse Items from the Files app. So this is the connection between GarageBand and the Files app that we were just looking at. So what we're going to do in the top left, we're gonna go back to our locations. We're gonna go into iCloud Drive, and this one happens to be in my Music folder here and my Completed Songs folder, which is down here. And there they are ready to go. So if I wanna bring in this eight bar uh, song here that I did, I can tap on that one. It's now going to import it into my loops here, into my browser. All I then need to do is tap and hold, drag it over to a blank track, release, and there you go. I can hit play, I'll turn the metronome off, hit play. I've only got eight little bars to tell And as it turns out, I think it is actually right at 110 BPM. I've only got eight little bars yeah, so that's super handy. So there you go, that is how you bring in. So if you've downloaded a WAV or an MP3 file, any audio file, and you wanna bring it into your GarageBand project, you can't open it directly from GarageBand, so you can't actually access the file out here. What you need to do is go into that Loops browser and import it using that method. However, if you do want to just look at the file, you can do that over here in the Files app. Just load up files and you'll be good to go. There's two more videos down below all about file management in GarageBand. You you can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you next time.